What's up guys, Rob from clicksgeek.com. In today's video, I want to walk you through four must-have Google Ads optimization tactics. These are tips that you, you have to implement on a weekly basis in order to grow your, your campaigns to success. All right, so before I get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, check out the links in the description. I put stuff in there for you guys through a link tree for everybody that has a lot of different uh, courses we offer and some free stuff too that you can check out. All right, so let's get right into it today, guys. We're looking at a junk campaign that is active, and I made some major changes in this guy the last seven days. We had a bunch of broad match keywords. And you can kind of see here what's going on at the uh, ad group level. We we're using target CPA. They got about 38, 40 conversions. I paused uh, an ad group. 38 conversions in the active ad groups. Cost per conversion $47, our target's 41. I'm extremely happy with that. In the last seven days, I've gotten 145 clicks, 3,043 impressions, 4.77% click through rate. Average cost per click is about 12 bucks. Total cost $1,800 for the week. And you're looking at a 26% conversion rate, which is right about where I want to be. All right, so the first tactic we're going to go over is pausing deadweight keywords. Now, what does that mean? So when you're doing a deadweight keyword, we're going to take a bigger sample than seven days. You want to usually go 30 days, and you're going to sort by keywords. Now, what is a deadweight keyword? A deadweight keyword, all that really is, is a keyword that's getting a bunch of clicks, and it's just wasting money. It's not, it's just dragging the campaign down. It's deadweight. So that's why I call them that. Now, if we're looking at the campaign here, sort by clicks and we'll just work our way down now something to keep a note I usually won't pause a keyword unless there's at least five clicks with no conversion some people do 10 I do five because I just rather root them out quick more quick but that's totally up to you so we can see here our main keywords getting all the traffic are getting leads if we come down here here's a dead weight keyword all right it's an exact match junk pickup zero leads five clicks move my head out of the way cost us ninety dollars so we wasted ninety dollars on this keyword over the last 30 days and it did nothing for us so we're going to pause that so that's pausing the dead weight we keep going down we got one that's four clicks but i'm going to keep that for now it's got a really good click through rate 25 percent and then the rest are just kind of trickled in clicks i don't have enough data yet to uh start pausing more of them but that's all you're going to do guys you're going to go through last 30 days you can even do 60 or 90 it's, it's really up to you and you're going to comb through and just look for the dead weight and you're just going to cut it you're going to trim the fat off the campaign and what this is going to do over time when you're doing this it's going to lower your overall cost per lead and get you down to uh where you want to be all right so that's tactic one it's pausing dead weight keywords now tactic number two we're going to go into the search terms report if you don't know what this is, the, these are the actual search terms that were typed into Google by the prospect and your ad showed and they clicked on it. All right. So if we start going through this, we're going to start right from the uh, right from the bottom where things stop converting. So you can see here and we're going to work our way down and we're going to try and find negative keywords, keywords that we don't want our ads to show for again. So Annapolis trash pickup. So this could be somebody, we don't really know the intent of this keyword, right? So this could be someone looking for like their waste management to come pick their trash up, not junk removal. So I'm going to uh, get rid of that. Another one here, bulk pickup. I'm going to get rid of that. Dump, that's a, not good. Garbage pickup. Get rid of that. So we're kind of just going to comb through. Here's another brand, Bulldog. We're going to get rid of that. We're just going to comb through and we're going to find keywords that we don't want our ads to show for again. And this is just another layer of getting rid of keywords that our ads won't show for, that clicks won't be wasted on, that's going to eventually lower our overall cost per lead. Got junk is brand. House cleaning and junk removal. You know... I would just get rid of it. These all look pretty good. I'm 
Not too bad. Justin's junk removal. That's a brand. You want to get rid of that. <clears throat> 2800 junk. So here's Baltimore City trash pickup. That's bad. Trash pickup today. Bad. Bulk trash pickup. If I'm not sure of the intent, I just want to get rid of it. I only want to be running winners. I'm not, I don't want to run things that I'm unsure of, of why someone's searching it. It's just going to improve your conversion rate over time and get your leads down to much, much cheaper than if we're trying to figure out, like, your Nova dumpsters. That's not. Trash pickup schedule. And I bet you most of these came from Broad, yeah, broad match. Garbage pickup. Junk guys. All right, so we'll call it we'll call it a day there with uh, weeding out negative keywords through the search terms report. And this is something you guys should be doing every single week, every seven days. You should be doing this. So then all you're gonna do once we have them all picked out, you're gonna come up here, add as negative keyword. We're gonna do it at the campaign level, very important. And it adds them all as exact match. I would just leave that for now. You can change the match types if you want. It's up to you, but I like to add them as exact match. So I just don't want my keywords or my ads showing for these exact search terms. You hit save, and there we go. We just added a bunch of negative keywords that we were paying for and wasting money on. Now, another cool thing in the search terms report, and this is a uh, tip number three that we're going into now. So tip number one, pausing dead weight keywords. Tip number two, adding, I'm sorry, adding uh, negative keywords from the search terms report. And tip number three is adding winning keywords from the search report that you might not have been bidding on. So let's see here. We're going to comb through what converted for us. And if it says added, it's already in the campaign. So Annapolis junk removal. That should go on Annapolis ad, ad group though. So some of these you don't want to add into the ad groups that's suggesting that the lead came from. Like all the geo stuff in DC, Bernie, Maryland. All right, so here's a good one. Small junk removal near me. That brought us a lead for 17 bucks. Get rid of junk. I'll add that. Junk removal services. I'll add that. $25 lead. Nice and cheap. And you're just going to comb through and you're going to add keywords that you've. Uh, Oop, I still got my other ones clicked here. You're just going to comb through and you're going to add keywords that converted for you that you're not currently going after. And I would only add the highest intent ones, guys. You can see a bunch of them up there that converted are, are like the trash pickup stuff. So I'm not going to add those, all right? Because we just saw, you just we just added a bunch of those to the negative list. So I, I'm not going to go after them. Even though they, they did turn leads and calls for us, I'm still not adding them. I'm only adding the highest intent search phrases from the search term report, okay? Hang with me a sec. I'm unchecking all the negatives I did down here because I'm going to show you how to add. The good ones we just did. Okay. All right. So let's say we went through, we picked all of our, our higher intent keywords that we're going to add into the campaign. Now we're going to actively add these to the campaign. It's going to put them in the junk removal ad group. You can see here. All we're going to do. Oh, I just got rid of them on accident. <laughs> all right. Hang with me one second. Small junk removal. We'll do them again. Get rid of junk, junk removal services. Okay, so all you're gonna do, you pick your keywords that converted, that are of high intent. So we we know why people are searching these terms, okay? That's why we're adding them. So we're going to check them, and then we're going here to add keyword, and it's going to add them in broad match. Um, I highly suggest you switch that, and we'll put them in. Exact match. I add all of my keywords from the search term report in exact match. You guys can do it however you want. It's totally up to you. And it's going to tell you what ad group they're going in, which is right here. And then once you do your match types, we just hit save. And that's it.
So that's how you're going to add keywords that you know you weren't currently bidding on that are driving you leads in your campaign. All right, so tip number four is device bid adjustments. So what this is briefly, it segregates where the traffic in your campaign is coming from. So we have traffic coming from mobile phones, we have traffic coming from compu like desktop computers, and we have traffic coming from ta mobile, ta or I'm sorry, tablets, like uh, iPads and Android tablets and all that, Kindle, all that stuff. And it breaks down all the statistics here of where you're going. So the number one thing you want to do before you even dig into this is come to columns, performance. We want the impression share at the absolute top. Now this is the very top of Google search results, like the one or two position. And then we want impression share top, which is just somewhere in the top four spots in Google. Because we want to see how much room we have to run with that. So then we're going to check those, hit apply, and it adds the columns to the top. So you can see here, the impression share at the top, 90% of the time, our ads are somewhere in the top four when someone searches for them. So we don't really have much room to run um, increasing bids for mobile, at least on the impression share top. So we're, our ads are in the top pretty much. Now the absolute top, which is the number one position, number two, it might be one number one or number two, I'm not sure, or it might be both. The very first ad, okay, so it's just the first one. I always thought it was a one or two. <clears throat> so I do, if I want my ad to be number one above everyone else, I, I can increase my bids here to get a higher number one position. Because right now, my ad's only showing number one 56% of the time when it's my ad's displayed. All right, so I got some room to run there. And then also, likewise, with desktop computers, 45% versus 85%, just in the top four on Google search results page. And you can see the conversion rate, though, for desktop is significantly lower. Cost per lead's ridiculous. So I'm actually going to decrease my bids on desktop. I'm actually going to start out with... 15% decrease. So I'm, I'm telling Google, I want you, I don't care what the bids are, what you're bidding, because I'm using target CPA auto bidding. I'm telling them, I don't care what the bids are. I want you to decrease whatever bids you're making by 15%, because this cost per lead is unacceptable. It's 280 bucks. This one's 85. And um, this one is 128. So I'm going to decrease that by 15 as well. Now, this is, keep in mind, this is the 30-day statistics. So if we move it to 7, let's see where we're at after I made a bunch of changes. Yeah, so it looks like it was going going ham on uh, mobile traffic here and not much computer or tablet. Oop, I did that plus. I can do that decrease. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move these to 25 because the traffic is not good. From these two sources so we'll let that go and we'll see how that does and you can see here we still got some room to run and our cost per conversions are still acceptable so I'm going to bump this five percent I'm telling Google I'll increase your bids five percent I want more I want more of this converting traffic okay so that's uh, that's how you adjust your bids it's based on conversion rate you really you really should um, adjust based on conversion rate. Look at this. This is interesting. So last seven days, 50% conversion rate. One lead, two clicks. Obviously, I can't go off of that because it's not enough big of a data sample. 30 days, it was too high. Seven clicks, one. So we're going to go with 30-day stats right now. I'm going to keep it decreased. That's interesting, though. So you want to adjust based on conversion rates, all right? So 21% conversion rate, yeah, we want more of that. We want more of that traffic. 0% conversion rate, we wasted $34. I'm just going to decrease that, 25%. Tablets, this is a fluke, don't look at that, but I'm decreasing tablets because historically in the account, over 30 days in the account, it's converted like shit, so I don't, I don't want it. So that, that's uh, the four things that you guys have to do on a weekly basis. Device bids could be every 30 days. You don't have to do that weekly. But these are things that are going to drop your cost per lead. And they're going to keep your campaigns running at an affordable rate. And uh, this is how you run for the long term in Google Ads. Okay. So again, top four tips. Pause your dead weight keywords. You know, uh, add negative keywords from the search terms report. Add winning keywords from the search terms report that you weren't currently going after. And... Um, Adjust your device bids based on your conversion, which traffic's converting the best for you.